Hi, my name is Jug, and welcome to my channel, where I build things. More specifically, though, I build things in Fallout. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I built this curved structure. And, you know, it just kind of goes around in like a half circle here. I'm also, at the very end of the video, going to go indoors, show you how to stack some light boxes inside your walls like this. It's a very easy method. Uh, some of you may already actually know these tricks, but if not, stick around because I'm going to show you. So I've went ahead and placed a foundation here in the middle of White Springs and I'm just going to put two foundations on every side of this foundation. Now the direction they're facing, it doesn't actually matter, but you'll see here in a second why I'm facing them all towards me here once I get all four sides down. Where you stand in this center block actually does make a difference. So all I'm doing here, I'm just kind of lining up my feet. You don't have to do this. You could just third person view yourself, try and guess where you're at. But you do want to make sure you're centered. Then you want to pull out a wall and hold down the action button and press forward. Hit the action button again, just like that. Hold down the action button, press forward and then hit the action button again. Now the reason I'm putting these walls in like this is because I want to make sure my feet don't move. I want to stand perfectly still in the center of this block. Where I stand when I start moving these foundations will actually make a difference. Now I forgot a wall here. I'll just go ahead and add it in now. It's not too late to do that. And okay, here is the very precise part. You have to be very careful when you're moving this. So you're going to pick it up and you're going to very carefully drag it to the side. You want to make sure you don't accidentally go up or down with it. Just have it so it's just barely hanging off the edge of that wall there. You want it to overlap just a little bit. Not too much, but just about that much right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab another wall and then hold down the action button and press it forward and drop it into place just like that. Some of you may be asking how I'm moving these foundations away from these walls like this. Uh, well, it's because they're doorways. Anytime you have a door or anytime you have a wall, and you switch that wall to a doorway, you can move the foundation out from under it and allow it to float just like this. Now I'm placing another wall here. I'm going to go ahead and I don't have room to move this over. So I'm just going to delete that foundation, grab the other foundation, and I'm going to go left with this one. And if you've measured everything up just right, you should have just enough room to squeeze one more wall in between this entire quarter here. So grab this wall here. Just like that. Now, I've got three other quarters to go, so I'm going to speed this up real quick. And there it is, a perfect circle. Well, okay, so perfect is not the best choice of words, but a near perfect circle. 
that goes all the way around. And if I wanted to just take these doorways and turn them into walls, I could and be done with it. But I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to go ahead and put the foundations in underneath this just so I can see what I've got to work with here. Um, I'm going to go all the way around. Try to fit these in here. Every once in a while, you're going to have some difficulty because they're going to want to try and snap to the walls. You'll probably notice me continuously taking these foundations down and then putting them back up again. It's really just for me to be able to visualize what I'm working with here. And later on, I think he, I even take these foundations and replace them with stone so or the concrete. And then I'm just going to go to all these doorways and switch them to walls. You don't have to do this right now. In fact, if you wanted to just save this for the last step, that would be fine. But I'm just doing it now so you can get a good idea of what this looks like with the walls all filled in. Now I'm just going to mark this with a doorway and it's really just for me because I'm about to get rid of three of these walls and I'm going to get rid of some of these foundations here just to clear this out. Um, this one too, I think, yeah. All I'm doing here is I'm just taking these foundations and I'm dragging them out to the edges of these walls here. You notice that I have three walls missing. So this is going to be the left side or well, if you're facing the wall from the outside, it's going to be the right side. And that's just to add an angle there. So I'm going to come up with some way to create this doorway in the front. Now to be able to move that out, you see that really all I had to do was just change those back to doorways and you can move the foundations right out from under it. And here it is. Well, the bottom level is somewhat done. Uh, there's still a few more things I need to do to it. I need to get a doorway in the front and I'm going to go ahead and move this out. Just use any of the blocks that are already snapped. Um, but it's a little too dark. I need to be able to see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and come back at daytime just like this. Drop a wall in and that looks good. I mean, I just want it to kind of be level with that edge there. All I'm doing here is just going around the entire building with steel walls. And uh, of course, these are just the half walls, but it's really just to add kind of a contrasting color to the whole scheme here. Because, you know, well, you know what it looks like if it's just a big blob of brick. It just kind of all bleeds in your eyes. So you'd be surprised at what one strip of an off color can really do for your base or camp, I guess. This is probably a good time to mention if you can get marsupial, definitely get that. That's going to make life so much better jumping up to these higher areas. That's how I'm jumping up to these rooftops and getting up high like this. If you can't get it, then you're going to have to work with stairs and that is really tough to do. I've done it a lot. You can get the marsupial mutation from the White Spring Bunker in the Science Wing. Just go there a few times. Eventually it's going to pop up. It's a little pricey, but it won't break your bank like signs and letters will.
I'm just changing all of the foundations around the outside into concrete. If they were already concrete for you, then you don't have to do any of this. In fact, you could just leave it the way it is. Now this spot right here needs to be very precise. I'm going to do this to both sides. I'm just going to show you one side though. I'm just placing that right up against those walls so I can place a red barn wall here. And I want that red to because it's going to match the rocket that I'm going to put out front. And then if you remember in Fallout 4, there was a trick where you could just move carpets into walls and you could run your lighting through the walls this way. Now, it still works, but it's a little different now. You actually have to move it once. Once it's been moved, you just pick it up just like this, drag it over and move it just like that. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Not, yep. Do it one more time. See that the the wires are still connected, but if you try to put those through the walls without moving them once, the wire will break. So with these mats, I can just stick it through the wall just like that. Now I've got two mats, one on top of another here. That way the other mat doesn't actually go through. And that wire actually connects all the way through. And here's a better view of it. And I just put those on both sides just so there would be lighting going up the stripes where that wall was. Now this is, uh, this is not a whole lot of stuff going on here. Really it's just a lot of decorating. Just throwing down chairs. Where you place them, it doesn't matter. It, decorate the front of yours however you like. As you can see, I put a red rocket. Uh, this was actually an atomic shop item. You don't need that. You can put whatever you want in front of your building. You don't even need the, the front to look the way I made my front. Obviously, the sky's the limit here. I have a temporary terminal I've just set down here. And this is going to give me control over the colored lights that are going up the stripes. And a few other lights I've placed inside. And I'm just going to set those to a dim red. And, you know, there's plenty of different colors you could try. But I just wanted something that did not really overpower anything. I didn't want it to look like it was lit. But I still wanted it to highlight some of the edges. Now, this is not the light I'm talking about. It's these lights that are going up the sides here. I'm going to go ahead and step back so I can get a better look at it. Yeah. You don't notice it until it's gone. If you're wondering about how I'm going to get a roof on this, you're not alone. I, <laughs> I was thinking about the same thing myself about that time. And I tried a few different methods. This didn't work this was kind of a failure. I tried staggering these up and down. Uh, I even tried staggering them much higher than this. It just, it just didn't work. But then I came up with an idea. What if I just cut out the corners? If I wanted to cover those corners, I'd have to do something a little more like this. I'm going to take these half walls here and I'm going to place them on every other wall, just like this, skipping one in between. I'm going to go all the way around in a big circle. Now I'm going to go around the circle again with these flat roofs. I'm just going to do the bottoms first. And then I'm going to go to all the top walls and place all of those. Then I grab the small walls again and then place them on the edges of each of these top roofs. Had I thought about this before, I could have used the right roof in the first place and saved myself the trouble of going around and changing all these roofs, but that's okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. I'm changing these roofs to 
the ones that have four sides on them. Anything with four sides so these walls will connect on the side like this. I could keep this like this. This looks kind of cool. But for the purpose of this video, now that I have all the walls in, I'm going to go ahead and just switch these back to flat roofs because, uh, because. Going back down below, I'm going to go ahead and put these walls in. I don't want all of the walls to be white though, so I'm going to flip flop them just like this. I'm going to have the corners be brick and then the areas by the doors kind of like a, a white hallway. This is where it's all going to start coming together. I went ahead and dropped a stairway and I'm just going to place some floors connected to it here. Now this floor isn't snapping into place. So I'm going to go up top and see if I can get a better angle on it here. Mm -hmm. I can go ahead and do that all the way around this area here. I want to make sure they're all facing the same way. I guess it don't matter. <laughs> but I'm weird like that. I'm going to change all of these doorways back to walls. And, you know, if I don't want the foundation, this is another way you could do the bottom of, I guess, the base of the structure. You could just go all the way around with these so they go straight into the ground like this. I mean, that looks pretty cool like it is. I like the way it kind of looks like a castle, you know. But... For the purpose of the video, I'm going to go ahead and complete the circle and just put some half walls in between each one of these. This is what it looks like from up top. I wanted to leave you with one really quick tip for interiors before I go. It's not that difficult. It's much easier than what's been done so far. It's just stacking these light boxes between the foundations like this and when they're lit up inside it really looks good so you just start by taking your foundation and dragging it to the side now I know exactly how far to move these because I've done it quite a few tries quite a few times to get it right so once you move that foundation over you can just go ahead and stick a doorway on there move the foundation back and then just fill the center here with light boxes. Really easy. There was nothing to it after all, was there? This is what it looks like. Once it's all lit up and in color, you know, I like it just because it adds a little contrast to the inside. Just makes it more colorful. Pops out. <laughs> I'm way overselling this, ain't I? Anyways, I just, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Thanks for watching my video. It's been a blast making this. I got a lot more footage, so I'm going to keep it coming. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put a Discord down in the comment section of this video. So if you got any questions and you want to ask me, feel free to drop in there. And I'll help you out if I can. Thanks.